G'day, today I just wanted to do a um, quick video on loadouts. Uh, we're going to go through how to create a basic loadout and then we'll go on to creating an advanced loadout and get a more natural look uh, out of your mission. Alright, so here's our setup. Really basic. Uh, we got the dude we want to play as, our player. And we got all the fellas lined up uh, that we want to execute these loadouts on. Uh, I'll also run through how quick and easy it is to run a basic loadout and then uh, we'll move on to the advanced. Alright, crafting a basic loadout is as easy as jumping into the virtual arsenal. Uh, we'll then export it and call it on our, our guys. Um, just ignore the fact that I have mods on, you can do it with or without mods, but this is how you uh, do a basic loadout. I'll just do that now. Alright, and that's that. Looking pretty mean. So um, we'll just export it and put it into our SQF file and then into our mission. Alright, so we'll go to where our mission file is located. I've named mine BNA Loadouts for Basic and Advanced Loadouts. Uh, we'll go into there. Uh, we'll make a new folder, call it Script. And then we'll go into that, make another new folder, call it Loadouts. And we're going to keep everything in here. Um, we're going to make, put our loadout in here. So I'm copying over another one. Uh, I'm going to rename that uh, basic loadout.sqf. Uh, we'll open that up, clean it all out, save it. Now it's an empty file. Uh, and we'll just put what we exported from the uh, virtual arsenal into it. All right, now we'll just copy it in here. Um, we're going to have to clean it up a little. So we'll get rid of all this uh, crap all the comment stuff, all the uh, stuff we don't need. Uh, we're going to have to add a line, uh, underscore unit equals underscore this select zero. And then um, we're going to have to replace all the this um, part of the code. So we'll use a function for that that uh, Notepad++ has. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah, look at that. Make sure <laughs> replace that. And that's it, done. That's your basic loadout. We'll test it out. All right, next thing we're gonna to have to do is call our code. Uh, so what we'll do with that, uh, we'll use exec VM. So it's null equals uh, open and close array bracket, exec VM, and uh, some string, a string thing. In that we'll put the location of our, uh, our script. Uh, so we scripts, uh, loadouts, uh, basic loadout dot sqf uh, so in the array we'll put this that references the unit this unit and we'll just copy paste that over to every one of these guys all right now we saved it and we'll jump in and give it a try oh whoops Okay, so obviously we didn't word it properly. Uh, that's what happens when you don't uh, write it out, write out the uh, directory or the location of your script properly. So we'll just go back over it, find out where it is, where uh, what's wrong with it. Usually it's just uh, wording. So basic load, basic load there, load out. Um, yep. Okay, that's that should be it. That looks good. So we'll just copy over and paste it everywhere else. Alright, that should fix it. So we'll jump back in here again and we'll give it a test out. Awesome, it worked. Okay, uh, damn mod. This happens because one of the mods I got on. Cool, that's a badass looking, uh, looking loadout. Might be better with a different um, backpack, but that's cool. Uh, well, that's how you do a basic loadout. 
so next one we'll do, we'll move into the advanced, uh, and we'll try and see if we can get a nice random looking, random looking loadout going on. It just gives it a better, better feel in the game, and uh, you don't have to do all the le heavy lifting of making various different uh, loadouts. You just use the one file. So we'll do that now. All right, the advanced loadout. So all I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just copy my basic loadout, uh, change the name around, and delete all the crap that's in there, and then I'll show you uh, all the stuff that I did to get my advanced uh, loadout. Okay, now we have uh, labeled here. Uh, we have I've got four different arrays, um, and they all contain. Uh, something different. First of all, I have my faces array. Now this is completely optional. Uh, I went after an African theme. I wanted uh, African militia. So I chose to put in a face array to set the face randomly. Um, that's totally up to you if you want to do that, if you wanted a certain theme. Uh, next I got a uniform array. Now you're going to have to do all this on your own time. Get your own arrays together and uh, you'll be quite surprised in how cool it is. But anyways, I've got a, a set of uh, just uniforms there. I have done the same with the vests and the headgear. So I've just got a whole... Uh, make sure you separate them. Don't put like vests in with the uniforms. Don't put the headgear in with the vests. Don't do any of that stuff. Make sure that all the vests are separate. Make sure all the uniforms are separate. Um, and just get a good uh, array of those together. And then I'll show you where the actual, uh, the actual code comes into play. I just want to take a second to point out something I missed while I was recording is that uh, the only thing I kept from the basic loadouts was the uh, this select zero, uh, selecting the unit and clearing its inventory. Um, the rest of it uh, is basically re all redone uh, on the video. All right, now we're diving into the guts of our script. Uh, we're going to make them start looking like um, like they're randomly generated now. Um, so using these these arrays, um, we're going to start selecting stuff and adding it to these soldiers. Uh, first of all is our set face, because I want to make them look like um, African soldier, or rather militia. Um, we're going to have to start setting their faces. Uh, do this by u underscore unit set face, and then our block of code that's going to randomly select that. Uh, I've explained it in another video, but I'll explain it again uh, real quick. So the count underscore faces is going to count the amount of faces that is in that array, or the amount of objects that is in that array. It's going to return a number. The random then uses that number. But so let's let's say we have 20 faces in that array. It's going to re the count's going to return 20. The random is going to select a number between 0 and 20. Uh, the floor is going to make sure it's not a decimal point place. Uh, that's what I've learned. Please correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and then the underscore faces select and then uh, the end result of that will be the number and then it'll, it will select out of that array uh, the face. Now we do basically the same thing with the uniform, add vest and headgear. So with the uniform it's underscore unit, force add uniform and then the randomly selected uniform. Um, you can copy and paste the random block of code there. Uh, that we've got for our set face, just make sure that you uh, replace the underscore faces with the underscore uniforms array. Um, so this will force add a uniform, so regardless of the... in armor, the um, the uniforms are usually uh, belong to a certain uh, faction or side. So blue 4 uniforms you mainly only find uh, on blue 4 soldiers. Uh, in most games or that you play online and stuff like that, you can't pick up another faction's or wear another faction's uniform. Uh, with the force add uniform command, uh, you can use or it, it does apply that regardless of its um, of its faction. So that adds the uniform. Uh, we then move on to the add vest. So this will just, pure simple, adds the vest. And then finally our headgear, uh, which is also totally optional, but Soldiers with headgears always look, you know, pretty mean, pretty cool. Um, and that should add the clothing to these guys. Okay, so now we want these guys to have some firearms and ammunition. So we're going to do that. We're going to add some firearms and ammunition for these fellas to fight with. 
uh, and we're going to do this in the way of functions. So we're going to set up a few functions and then call them later on. Uh, I'll explain a little bit about the call command uh, in a sec. We'll just uh, construct the function first. So first function we've got uh, underscore gun one equals squiggly brackets. In these squiggly brackets, we're going to uh, we're going to put the stuff we're going to add to these guys. So uh, first of all, we're going to add the ammunition. It doesn't really matter in which order you want to do this. Um, it's probably best if you add the ammunition first, so that when they jump in they're not reloading their guns. Um, we're going to use the 4 underscore i from 1 to 2 do uh, line uh, and what's this, what this is going to do is execute anything in those squiggly brackets um, between 1 and so however many times so for the first one we're going to go underscore uh, add item or oh, sorry underscore unit add item to vest uh, sorry uniform and we're going to add uh, a couple of AK mags so that they can use um, from one to two. So basically, it's going to uh, execute this twice. Uh, for the vest, it's going to execute it six times. So they're going to have six magazines by the end of the uh, end of this function. And we're also going to add an AKS 74. Um, I do this for the underscore gun two, just a different weapon, an FN foul. Uh, I do the gun three, which is AKS 74U, and the gun four. Uh, being an infantry support weapon or MMG, we got the PKM. Uh, because these, uh, the magazines or rather the boxes for um, for the PKM are quite larger, um, you won't be able to fit. You only one in the uniform and two on the vest is what I discovered. So we um, just add one to the uniform just by the simple line of unit underscore unit uh, add item to uniform, and then we use the from one to two do and add two to uh, the vest. So for the next few loadouts I've just done something a little bit different. Um, first of all we'll address the RPG 1 and 2. Um, I thought you know infantry might need a bit of anti-tank or anti-air um, capabilities so I've added a, a um, RPG 1 uh, loadout that has a backpack. Uh, on top of that he also has his ammunition that goes into the backpack and the rocket launcher itself so he's like, like a basic you know soldier except he's just got an extra backpack rockets and a rocket launcher or RPG um, for the RPG 2 I've done more or less the same thing only it's uh, it's just set out a little differently my mistake um, but he's got also a Strela launcher or an anti-air launcher uh, for my final loadout, I've decided to put in a sniper roll. Um, for this, uh, one of the mods I've got, um, you can use basically a ghillie suit uh, in the spot of the goggles, as because of the mod. Um, and I took advantage of this by adding um, that certain uh, aesthetic, you know, piece of clothing. Um, so this guy's going to have a small ghillie suit. He's basically like any other soldier, only he's got a, now he's got a, a, a ghillie suit. Um, he's got a sniper, and I've also added with the add primary weapon item uh, an optic and a bipod. Right now we're nearing the end uh, of our script. Um, I'll address the call command right now. Um, but just before I do that, um, I've set up a really crude way of selecting these loadouts at random. So what I've done is I've got all the function names, the gun 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, the RPG 1 and 2, and the sniper. And I've put them all into a loadout array. Um, so I've mentioned gun 1, 2, and 3 a total of four times each. Um, I've uh, mentioned the gun 4 only once, the RPG 1 twice, the RPG 2 once, and the sniper once. Um, basically, the more that these occur... Um, or well, the more that you've got in there, um, the harder for other loadouts that you don't mention as often, um, the harder basically it will be to select them. So I don't want you know every second soldier to be a sniper. I don't want every second or every third um, dude to have an AA capability kind of thing. I want that to be quite a limited role. And you'll see it later on when I show you the uh, 
the end result of this um, this loadout. So, anyways, I've I've mentioned one, two, and three gun one, two, and three, a uh, total of four times each, um, with the rarer ones being gun four, RPG two, and the sniper, uh, which are each only mentioned once. And that gives us uh, it's really crude. I'm sorry, um, but it's just something I quickly thought up of um, addressing how rare you can make your loadouts. Um, what I then do is this is this is the call function, rather the call command. So this is going to execute the um, the functions that we've set up, and I've added our, uh, a random block of code that we've got and I've made sure that it's selecting it from the loadout so if you're copying from some of the uh, random loadout blocks, blocks uh, above make sure that you uh, change the the array that it's counting and calling from uh, and then finally I've got our last uh, which mostly is part of the mod, just the ace mod. Um, I've added just some field dressings, morphine and earplugs. Um, this gives them an ability to patch themselves up. Uh, if you're not using the ace mod, then I wouldn't worry about those, uh, but they're handy to have, if you if you are. Uh, and then finally, uh, just to add, it's always fun to have, you know, hand grenades going off around you or, you know, your enemy smoking themselves up can they, so they can you know, maneuver away from you, especially if you're laying down a lot of fire towards them. So I've added uh, a hand grenade and a smoke shell, or rather a smoke grenade. Um, it just adds a, a different dimension uh, to the AI. Um, and if you can manage to kill them before they use those items, then, you know, bonus for you. I do apologise, my uh, recording has screwed up a little. Um, so I'm just going to illustrate real quick what I did. Um, all I've done is got the guys on the left, copy paste them, flip them around and put them on the other side here. Uh, and I've gone into the init lines and just replaced the basic loadout with the advanced loadout. Alright, now jumping back in the game, I have duplicated our random ones a lot. Um, uh, sorry, our advanced loadouts. I've duplicated all of our advanced loadouts. And we are going to jump in and just take a look at uh, what we're doing. This little... Awesome. But as you can see, we do have a very good looking militia here. They look very... Um, very well armed. And very random too. So what do we have over here? We have a sniper. So I only put that once in the loadout. It looks like he is about the only one here. So that worked very well. The beautiful. A nice little gillion. Beastly. Cool. Oh, and that's our advanced loadouts. Uh, if you do have any questions, please uh, post the comment. And thanks for watching.